Hey, what's up guys? Duct here and today I'm gonna be making a video here with XSAP uh, here on like all the most common locations uh, that will help y'all out. So like the auction house, the ferry, and the nether fortress, and also like the floating islands where you can get different types of wood and all that. So uh, yeah, anyways, I accept. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just well, like from the portal, you just have to go backwards. Like, yeah, yeah. it's fine. And then... The librarian is right over here, and here is where you, it's like you buy books and enchanting balls and stuff. Best books, bro. Top tier books. <laughs> For sure. And, and then, then you got the builder. Here. Oh, yeah. Builder is here if you want to get lava and water for obsidian. And, and the... uh, this is one that a lot of people ask about is the weaponsmith, because everyone wants to know how to get the undead sword. Yep, so... there's the undead sword. 100 coins. <laughs> uh, Alchemist is actually back oh, yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, basically, you just Wait. buy like nether wart here, brewing stands, bottles, uh, yeah. maybe some other stuff there if you really want to. Yeah. Alright, so for the floating islands, uh, here's spawn. So you're going to head this way. You're going to pass Jamie. If you don't have a rogue sword, Jamie's going to give you a rogue sword. Uh, yeah. And then you're just going to run uh, all the way this way. You're going to see the oak trees. You can cut these down if you want. Uh, they'll book if you oak. Uh, oak is actually the best wood generally, but you might want to get the other woods for... Basically, they can be good for basically minions, but besides, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're just going to keep running I'm all the way that's over how here. you get, like, the, um, the chest, or the, the minion chest, isn't it? The storage, yeah, you get it from yeah. Oak. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, okay, we'll just talk about that after. I was going to mention the ruins, too. Okay, so this is the floating islands. This is where you can get all your birch wood. Uh, well, not just birch wood. I don't think it. Yeah, I didn't put us in the same one. Uh, oh, should it work? That's. Should we go back? Wait. Yeah, I just warned me. Go. Yeah, that works. So yeah, this is where you can get different types of wood, and then there's a bunch of islands here. Then spruce wood. And then we got jungle. Basically, you can go through all of this, and there's all the different types of wood. Yeah, and there's like a quest um at the t at the dark oak island way up there too, I believe. West, or it's not like up there, but it like asks you to get dark oak. Yeah, uh, I think I don't know what their NPC's name is, but yeah, well, it's just the one like on the first island there. Yeah, yeah. Too, at the very bottom. Yeah, you mind your dark oak wood here. So basically, what you're going to do with this is like get your minions so that you can just get more minion slots. But most of them aren't that useful, but dark oak and oak are pretty much the only ones that I would like actually want to get really high, but. Besides that, yeah. Alright guys, so this same road that you went on to get to the Oakwood and the Floating Islands, they're gonna go on to get to the... Well, this is the Ruins, which is basically the level 1, so it could go into like Coal Mine, uh, or the original Oakwood Mine, and the Farm, the original Farm. Which you need to get to level... Well, you just have to get to Combat Level 1 to then get to the Spider's Den, which is over here. Which just have like... Slightly better mobs, basically, and for some reason being really laggy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the server is like so. And we right didn't now. get to the same one. Okay, I got it. Uh, P warp. Yeah, it's like Skyblock is like lagging the entire server. Like I tried to play some Skywars earlier, and it was just it was still laggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the if you want to get skeletons, uh, a good place to grind skeletons is over here in the skeleton. The well, basically the skeleton of the dinosaur. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of skeletons, and also this is where you can get gravel. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Which basically is good for a gravel minion. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, but the bones is good for like hurricane bow and stuff like that. Yeah, I fell down while I'm coming back up. There's also a couple slimes here. So to get to the Nether Fortress, you're gonna go right from the spawn portal, or well, you, this is one way to get there. There's quite a few actually. You basically just have to get to the third floor. Uh, up this place. Uh, up this way, yeah. Oh, this is way okay. Cause there's another, there's another way that was over here that I usually take. Okay. This one was faster. Okay. Good for me to note even. <laughs> and then, this should take us right there, right here, I believe. Yeah. And then, uh, yep. here's your blazing fortress. Um. All right, so here in the nether, there's actually quite a few things. Uh, if you go left immediately from the spawn, originally I didn't actually know where this was. 
Uh, yeah, I, just, I did a video with a couple of my friends, and we were trying to find it, and it took us forever to find it. So this is where you get glowstone, glowstone. and nether quartz. You can't actually get it in the other parts of the nether for some reason, but yeah. <laughs> they only put it in this one little area. There's actually yeah. a lot here, so if you do need it, this is where to go. But besides here, there's nowhere else in the nether to get it. For some yeah. reason, it's only in this like one tiny area. All right, so... Right, so this is where the magma is boss is going to spawn. It's you basically go yeah. straight and then you don't go up that stairs. You yeah, go down. Go down and then uh there's actually some withers here or wither skeletons and magma cubes. Uh but basically you just have to wait here for hours uh, for the magma cubes to spawn. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> I mean you can get lucky and come here when it's about to spawn. I usually just lobby hop or I mean yeah, lobby hop. Yeah. 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 There's, literally like, there's literally like 10 people like here. 10 people here. <laughs> yeah. This one's probably not gonna. Well, it might spawn soon. I don't know, because a lot of the time you get like twenty people just waiting up there on that mountain, and it just spawns right there in front of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. But... So also, guys, here in the Nether is Nether Wart. So what you're gonna do is basically from the spawn here, you're gonna go straight up. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could go there, but let's just say we go over here. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can go straight up, and there's gonna be some Wither skeletons here that you have to fight. There's some nether wart already over here. Uh, you do have to kill all the weather skeletons, which, if you don't have good armor, could be problematic. Uh, but basically, once you do get there, there's a lot of nether wart here, so it's actually not that hard to get a uh, nether wart. Um, there's also this isn't the only spot where there is nether wart though. So if you keep going, uh, I believe. I'm not actually sure which way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, there's more than other word. Basically, there's another word in like all the columns. So like, there's another word all the way over here. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few different places. Yeah, it's actually a there's a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, basically, if you just keep exploring this castle, there will be even more. Uh, I don't think we really need to show y'all everywhere, but yeah, yes, yeah. I think there's some down there too. But basically, it's just all over this castle. If you a lot of the like corridors, uh, if you just keep going, there's more so it's one of the actually easier things in the nether except you do have to have good armor because they do a lot of damage the weather skeletons if you don't have like good armor all right guys so also there are blaze here there's blaze outside of just this building as well uh which we may or may not show you i mean basically if you just explore the nether there's blaze like in the like middle of nowhere kind of but basically you just want to go all the way to the top and some blaze can spawn right here usually it's not too many, but it's enough to like get your blaze rods. Unless you're really grinding the collection, then maybe you do want to go outside. Uh, because there are some more outside. But as you can see, there's also blaze over there. Basically, they're at the top of all the towers here. Uh, but And they're also outside. Uh, but not like where we showed you where the magma cubes are. You basically have to like kind of go exploring to find them on the outside. Okay, so... Next, we're going to show you guys how to get to the fairy pond. Um, basically, you're just going to want to go back this way towards the Colosseum. And you pass the Colosseum. You follow the road. Yeah, basically. you follow the road. Yeah, basically. And you, yeah. Cross the bridge and keep going on the road. There's going to be a, like a river thing up here you cross. And it should be right up here. Yeah, it's uh, right here. Right here, yeah. Uh, there's like one of those little floating things, and then uh, yeah, I think they're called uh, crystals. And this is where you find Tia, who actually I need to exchange my fairy souls right now. Uh, there we go. We got plus seven HP, plus two defense, and plus two strength. Nice. Nice. And then yeah, so this is this is where you fish if you want to try to get fairy armor, which is what I'm wearing right now. That, um, that cool looking armor. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, All right. so to get to the third tier farm, if you don't know how to get there, it, it is a little bit obscured. It's a lot harder to find than, I guess, like all the other third tier places. Um, here's like where the wheat fields are. So you have to get to level one to actually go to the barn, which is the tier two part, uh, tier two place. And then you have to get to level five farming to get to, um, oh, we're probably not the same one. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not. Okay, there, there you are. Okay. All right. So you have to get to level 5 farming to be able to go to the tier 3. So the level 2 you can get like cows and pigs and I think chickens. Mm -hmm. And then level 3 is going to be like up this road. 
there's just like little mushroom covered portal looking thing which isn't going to teleport us to the same world <laughs> yeah honestly no okay never mind but yeah uh keep you at me yeah. oh, wait i think i can just click follow there we go oh, okay there you go uh and here basically there's actually a lot here you can get rabbits sheep sugarcane cactus mushrooms cocoa beans uh yeah. hmm, i think that's it yeah i think so yeah but uh cactus is basically all over on the in the sand desert and then sugarcane's all around this water and over there and then cocoa beans are all over here which generally are grown because people don't really farm them so if you need cocoa beans they're here <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope that really helped you out. Uh, we're actually at the warped, the most likely end here. I mean, it's like almost certainly the end. Uh, it's kind of hard to get here, but we can show you all if you do want in the future. I mean, it's not really that important now since you can't really do anything here yet. But in the future, we'll show you probably how to get here. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, if y'all did enjoy, please like the video. It helps us out a lot. Uh, also, you want to check out XZAP's channel. His channel will be in the description. Uh, you know, he makes pretty much the same kind of content as me uh, here on Skyblock. Uh, so if maybe there's some videos you want to check out of his that I haven't done before. So yeah, anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed and uh, I'll see you later. Peace, guys.